In the following tutorial we are going to cover how to publish a map. So first let's cover some file definition. Navigate into your documents, call a Juarez, data, and either mapsex or mapsnet, and into your map folder. All of these files are a part of your map. Some of the files you don't need and we're going to delete some of these. So before we start going through and modifying and deleting some files, what you want to do is copy your folder and back it up. So just in case anything happens, you have a backup copy of it. .exp, it contains all your information of stored object in your map. Next three exps are actually four. Uh, they're backup files, so you can go ahead and delete your backup files. .height is your terrain height map. This is where the terrain height map information is stored. The next four files are backups of your height map. You can delete them. The next file is an INF file, and this is information file. Uh, you can delete that as well. Next is .map file, and this is your game level map. The next four files are your map backup files, so delete these as well before publishing. Also you have light map files that get created and you don't need this folder anymore when you publish so delete that as well. Dot .mis file, let's open this up in notepad. This file contains your object information as well as scripts, uh, triggers, object properties. So here we have some of our scripts that we use, there's some expressions and you can modify and save this file and it will update in the game. Next we have is .obs file, delete this as well. Next is .scr and let's open this up in notepad. So this is our .scr file and it's all the information that you will find in your wireless in your map settings. So everything that you find under your map settings under your wireless so you can look through it and you can modify everything that's in this file as well. Next we have .sobj file. This contains loading information. ambient.scr is another script file. You can open this in Notepad as well. So this file contains your ambient sound that is used in your level. Next we have is a color DDS file and this holds color information of your terrain. You can open this up in Photoshop and this is your color map and for you to open this in Photoshop you need to have a DDS plugin. You see that this is .dds and if you go to Google type in DDS plugin you need to download the NVIDIA plugin for Photoshop. You're able to create DXT1 and DXT5 files. You'll need to download it and install it. So this will allow you to open this file and create DDS files and modify your color map terrain. Foilage.scr contains your foliage layers. So opening this up in Notepad, here are the layers and it defines density maps, foliage layers of various plants, bushes and terrain elements in your map. The next three foliage files are DDS files and they contain black and white information of where the branches, plants and stones of foliage are painted. So if I open this up in Photoshop, this is a density map file and white is where the information is and black where the information is not. So white is where our branches have been uh, placed and black is we, are, we don't have any information, we, we don't have any branches. And this is the plants DDS file and so the white information is where all the plants, the foliage plants have been painted onto our terrain and black is where we have nothing and this is our foliage stones. Next we have is a grass density map with a script file. So here's our grass SCR. Uh, it shows you the material for the grass that's used, uh, the density map where it's stored and all the information regarding the grass density map and opening up this in Photoshop. This is our grass density map and again this is a black and white image and white where the grass has been painted onto the terrain and black where there is no grass. Next is our mask file. Uh, as you remember in our previous tutorial we modified our mask file when we painted on using brushes. So here's our mask file and you can see that when we painted the W into our mask in our previous tutorial uh, this is uh, we can now we can see it in uh, opened in Photoshop and we can uh, modify 
our mask right inside Photoshop. Next is a normal DDS. This is terrain information of height map that's being lit. So here's the normal map and uh, this is the light information of how terrain is being lit. Then we have a reflection map. This is a cube map that's used to reflect the environment. So here's a cube map for this particular map and this is the cube map that will reflect in specific shaders around in our map. So things like bottles, things like metal objects, uh, guns, this is the environment that will be reflected in those objects. Next we have screen DDS and this is the loading uh, image and I will talk about how to create this uh, in just a few minutes. Let's open this start prop inside Notepad. So here you have more uh, description of your map. You have description music, uh, static music, description pictures, and this is the screen DDS right in here. Save name. You can define the two characters, uh, their inventory. Now going back up here you have description pictures. You're able to have three screens, three pictures inside your loading screen. So let's copy and paste two of these. And now just rename the second one to have two in the title name. Third one has three. And where it says screen for the second one, add two at the end and add a three. And we're going to create the rest of the screens. And before we create the loading screens, uh, you have your weather script down here. If in your map you're using weather none or you took this out when you went under environment, weather and daytime settings and you remove this, you can go ahead and delete it. Now let's talk about creating a custom loading screen. I will be using Photoshop for this tutorial so I'm going to describe you uh, and take you through the steps on how to do this inside Photoshop. So you need a Photoshop DDS plugin which uh, we described how to get earlier. Then you have two options of creating screenshots. You can go inside the game and use the print screen on your keyboard and the screenshots will be saved as .tga files inside your documents Call of Warriors by the Blood out screenshots folder or you can do it inside Chrome editor and going into panoramic view by pressing the G key then you're able to take the screenshots by pressing print screen on your keyboard and pasting them inside the Photoshop making sure that you turn off any helpers so you don't get to see any waypoints any spawn points or markers so you get to see what exactly will look like in game then you need to take those three images and you need to resize them into 1024 by 512. Then after cropping the images we will create a new layer and fill that layer with green and then set that blending mode for that layer to multiply. Then finally we will save our screenshots as DDS file format as DXT1 and then we'll have screen.dds, screen2 DDS and screen3 DDS. So let's open our default screen DDS inside Photoshop and this is what it looks like. This is the default that is created inside your map. So I went ahead and already created three screenshots. So here are my three screenshots. Here's the first one, second one, and third one. And right now they're just JPEGs. And image size is 1024 by 512. So all I did was I went inside the editor and I used the print screen and then I copied and pasted it inside here and then used the crop tool to resize them. So now by going into your layers, creating a new layer, and then filling that layer green. So by going into color picker and where it says green, tap in 255, and then use the bucket tool, and then fill it with green. And then on the normal, just go and set to multiply. And do this for every image. Now let's save them. Go to File, Save As, and we need to save them as a DDS format. And it needs to be your map name, screen.dds. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and then paste it in here, but change this to 2, and then you need to save them inside your folder where the other screen file is at. Click Save, change this to DXT1 no alpha, generate mip maps and save. Then we go back in here and we have our screen 2 DDS. And same thing for the third one. So now we have 
screen one, two, and three. And if I open these back up inside Photoshop, they'll look proper and image size 1024 by 512. So here's our map, and we have our three loading screens working properly. So after you've prepared everything, just go through one last time, then hit publish, and you're all set. So now input your username, your password. If you don't have this, register to the community, go through all the steps, and submit your map, and your map will show up on cojmodding.com for everybody else to download.